What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Burns having a great day today. So today you guys join me on my way to the park to go meet up with Hayden for a little photo shoot before we leave for Florida. And as my truck gets horribly dirtied by a dude shooting grass on the road. Anyway guys, hope everyone's having a great day so far. So me and Hayden are going to go meet up at the park to do some last minute photos before both of our cars sit for a week. Um, because, of course, you guys know we're going to Florida. Well, we're in Florida when you guys are seeing this video. That's right. I'm editing this for next week. Uh, filming this for next week. So, um, by the time you guys are seeing this, me and Hayden are actually in Florida. So, uh, at least halfway through the trip at this point. And, uh, we're taking some last-minute photos since the cars are going to be sitting for a week anyway. We thought we might as well get some content for Instagram. And it'll be good for another YouTube video because I need one more video. And this is going to be that video. So, Hayden and I are going to do some photos. Both of the cars were probably pretty dirty. Mine, I know, is dirty because, it, I mean, especially just now, got dirtied up by that dude cutting grass. Um, but all in all, the truck is pretty dirty. But uh, that's because it was so last minute that I didn't even have enough time to go and wash the truck. Um, so that's where we're at. So, obviously, people are going to notice right away that my steering wheel's straight. And that is because, like I said on Wednesday's last Wednesday's video, uh, I was taking the truck back to the store that I got all the work done, the Pet Boys I went to, and they were going to look everything over. Um, they wound up doing just that, and uh, actually doing the alignment, because what it looks like, uh, it probably wasn't even done, um, since they didn't have a spec sheet for the last time I went there. So, I'll get back to the story here in a second, once I get through here. Alright, so back to the story. I took the truck up there, they did the alignment either either redid or did the alignment I don't know um, and they got everything but the camber sorted out and they gave me reasoning why so it wasn't like they just chose not to touch it they said they were able to use the adjusters but were not able to get it as close as they wanted to um, in fact they were barely even able to adjust it so I don't know if that was they didn't know how to work those camber adjusters or if they really didn't even do much but there's still a very slight bit of camber, but they were able to clear out most of it to where I'm not going to be burning out tires so easily, uh, which is going to be great because that means I'll be able to get actually a good bit of time before I replace tires on this thing. So, with how that goes, um, I got the truck back home. Everything drove as smooth as it can go, but <laughs> this is the funny part. They also left a, um, a wrench on the control arm. I'm not saying like on the control. No, it was attached to a bolt on the control arm. So uh, they called me in a panic about two hours after I'd gotten home. I was just resting, kind of chilling out after that. And I get a call from them. I'm like, well, what are they calling me for? Uh, I mean, the job was done. Um, I mean, I left there two hours ago. And they're like, hey, is there by chance a tool on your truck? And I'm like, I didn't see one, but I'll go and look. And they're like, if it fell off, no big deal. Our biggest worry is that you and the truck are fine. I said, yeah, we're totally fine. I'm home. I'm sitting in my bedroom as we speak. So he was like, all right, can you go look for it? So I went outside and didn't see anything initially. So I cranked the truck, turned the wheel to the right, and sure enough, I see a whole half-inch drive ratchet wrench. And it wasn't just a small ratchet wrench. I mean, it was a pretty big ratchet with a 22-millimeter socket sitting on one of the bolts on my control arm. So I was like, well, I, found, I think I found your wrench. And uh, they asked me to bring it back. So I had to get back and drive all the way back out there and drop, give it back to them. Um, That's the right thing to do. People are obviously going to tell me I should have just kept it and should have just never said anything, should have never called back. But at the end of the day, it was the right thing to do. Even if all this stuff that happened happened with the alignment, um, I wanted to do the right thing and make sure they got their ratchet back. So that's exactly what I did. I made sure they got their tool back and in one piece. So the alignment's done, nothing's damaged, no harm, no foul now. I'm not even upset about it anymore because the job has been done, it's been corrected. So um, Monday's video is technically point last Monday's video I should say is technically pointless now, but uh, I mean it, uh, the job's done. So. Um, huge thanks to them for at least looking over it. Um, I felt bad for them that, uh, when I was there yesterday. I'm, I'm filming this on Thursday, so the day after I brought it in. They got hammered uh, by just... Like, it reminded me why I hate customer service so much and why I vowed never to do it again after I worked at my first job at Advanced Auto Parts back in the day. Um, people, just, people just suck. And it, I was, like, completely reminded of how bad it is to work in customer service. So, 
I feel bad for them. I, I was, I was, I was sure to be extra nice to them while I was there yesterday because of how many times they kept getting, you know, called out for something. And I mean, there were other people, even other sport tracks that were there making fun of them, like on the phone. I don't know if that was related to any of you guys. Hopefully not. But um, hopefully they didn't. No one on the channel found out where that story is because I've made sure to kind of conceal where I live. Question for you guys in the comments. So usually when the American car does a big pull like that, or just any pull in general, that wasn't even an actual pull, they'll be like, yeah, I'm letting loose the bald eagles. But since this is a V6, am I technically allowed to say I'm letting the bald eagles free? It's an American car, but it's not a V8. So what, what do I what do I say there? <laughs> am I letting the bald eagles free or not? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna wait on Hayden to get here. I don't know how long he'll be, but uh, yeah, I'll catch up to you guys in a minute. There he is. I see him. He got caught in traffic. Apparently, the highway I was just on is completely butchered, more, more towards his way. They're be looking good. Hey man, nice Corvette. Huh? <laughs> mad tripping? Oh, I'm mad, mad crooked. <laughs> I, hey, there's no lines here. <laughs> there's no lines here. I can't see. <laughs> hey man, nice Corvette. That looks like a C6 to me. It's just a little small. Huh? Oh. Oh man, I'm about to just try to do a photo shoot without my phone. Hashtag iPhone pictures. Oh. I look extra like a dork, don't I? Having this big fake $70 Amazon GoPro on my forehead. But in case you guys are new, this is Hayden, of course, who has been on the channel for quite a long time. Um, we're doing a quick little photo shoot in the park today. Uh, we're going to try to recreate a picture we took a couple years back, back when he had the Genesis, which I think will be kind of cool to do. Um, we'd have to go further up the park for that, but we'll probably just do some stuff here for now and then go from there. So, Hayden's car, if you guys don't know, got custom headlights, front bumper, carbon hood wrap, stage two clutch, open downpipe right now, which really doesn't sound as bad as you would think it would. People always make fun of Hondas, but like, open downpipe sounds so trash, but this car actually sounds fine. This sounds better than a lot of eBay exhaust Civics, that's for sure. It's so small. Why is it that, like, everything, like a Miata or an S2000 makes my truck look huge next to it? <laughs> but anyway, get a quick little snappy snap while we're here. So I'm going to go turn my halos on. I forgot, I can actually use those in pictures now. Okay. Rip. There we go. Now I got them on. Now we're talking. Just turn your halos on. <laughs> so you ready for Florida? You gonna miss not driving this thing for a week while we're down? Not really. Eh, only a little bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so both of these are going to be down for a week while we're gone. Um, and once we get back, we'll obviously get restarted on both builds because Hayden's got stuff going on behind the scenes that I don't want to reveal. I've got stuff going behind the scenes that I've already revealed. <laughs> um, this car is going to be a different color at some point. And uh, Hayden's got quite the theme going that'll be completely unique uh, above uh, S2000 people. So it's going to look pretty cool, I think. Um, so we're waiting to see the outcome of Michael's rap on the Mazda before we do that. So who knows when that'll be. But I'm going to take this off my head right now because I look like an absolute dork. 
uh, and I'll kind of record as we go with my iPhone. So I got this really cool angle of the S2000 from up here. So right here, <laughs> I just stood right here and managed to get the bed out of frame and everything. I literally just pulled the truck in the middle of the parking lot just so I could get up here. But got a few really cool photos from right here. Oh, not sure what else we can do. I'm gonna try to find that picture of the Genesis and we can try to recreate it while we're here. That way we can do like a cool like throwback Thursday while we're down and it'd be uh, the new picture with this car with the old picture with the old Genesis. And then uh, I don't know what old Hayden has an, has an ideas for, so we might go to a different spot as well. I'm not sure. But we're really just doing like a quick impromptu shoot just to have content to post while we're down south and for the week. But, and just okay looking as and glorious as ever. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna try to find that photo. We'll go recreate it and uh, we'll go from there. So I think we've pretty much had done all we wanted, or all I wanted to do. Um, I don't know what the rest of the day is going to have for us, but we got the pictures we wanted done done. I got a cool couple of angles from up in the bed of the truck on the S2K, which I'll send to Hayden so he can have them to post. Oh no, this car looks fantastic, man. I really, really can't wait to see what you got in store for this car. It's going to be wild. Now, now y'all know what it's like to be, um, Michael. yes, <laughs> this is what it's like to stand next to Michael. Oh. Shoot, I about died just now. But you have to aim the camera like really high up because he's so tall. Sure. <laughs> well, the advantage of me, me and Hayden's height, well, Hayden's still being a little bit taller than me, you can drive these. Michael can't because he's so tall. <laughs> the bad part about being tall, like everything else about being tall is good. You get you get girls easier because you're tall. You, you're able to be in photos easier because you're tall. <laughs> People are scared of you because you're tall. But... If you're not tall, if you're tall, you can't drive an S2K. And what would you want to do in life if you couldn't drive an S2K? What's the point of living? If you're tall, you can drive one. People are alive when they say they can't fit. I guarantee it. And a Miata that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Miatas are tiny. I'm 6'3 and I fit in this. If you're any, like, in the seats slid all the way back, I guess. <laughs> and that's without having to take the part of the cushion out to be able to fit properly. Can you do that in these cars? Probably, but I probably don't want to. Yeah, probably make it feel like crap. So yeah, these cars are just awesome. But yeah, I don't know the rest of the day is going to bring for us, but I'm going to make sure to record it and uh, see what we do the rest of the day. So me and Hayden are leaving the park. We're going to go up and try to find some lunch. And then uh, he had to run a big lot for something. I'm guessing it's probably just to get some stuff to be ready for Florida. Where's he at? Is he up here waiting on me? Oh, wait, is this? I don't know how this park works anymore. The roads are all sorts of goofed. Where is he? There he is, he's waiting for me in the front. Alright, Hayden, give us a little show. Eh, not really much of a show, but I'll take it. Apparently the roads all shut down up here, which is going to suck, but we'll get through it. Is that an SSR? Gosh, I forgot how good this thing sounds. I got a Chevy SSR, a few cars ahead of us. I haven't seen too many of those. I'm curious if it's going to be a uh, 5.3 or if it's going to be the LS2. Because I know those actually did come with the LS2 in them, which is pretty cool. I hate having 
driving automatic. Why can't I have a stick shift? I need one in my life. Automatics are so slushy. Don't you even <laughs> think about it. There's a cop. I legit have never seen an SSR with a top down. It was a Miata. Wait, man, we got all the roadsters out today. Now we just need a Z4, a Z3. One of those ugly 350Z roadsters and one of those ugly 370Z roadsters. And we'll be roadstered out for the day. Come on, Aiden. Do a full rip, bro. I forgot how trashy this part of town actually is. All right, guys, so I'm getting ready to leave Hayden's house. Head back on to the house, my house. Uh, was gonna stop and get some McDonald's on the way home, but I don't really feel like going anywhere. So my main thing is just doing my stealthy escape because Hayden's walls are pretty thin in the house and his parents are probably fast asleep being 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna do it the stealth way, which is just neutral rolling far enough out of the driveway and then starting up the truck there. So I'm gonna get on home and we'll wrap this video up when I get back. All right, guys, so I just wanted to go ahead and wrap this video up here. I'm sitting here in my bedroom, sitting, staring at my MacBook right now because I'm watching to see, I was checking to see if my carbon fiber dash kit shipped yet. Um, that's actually gonna be shipping in about four days from the time I'm filming this video on the 15th. So um, I'll be down in Florida when this thing ships. It's just kind of an odd tradition that seems like every year. It just always lines up perfectly. Well, I'll buy something or I'll be waiting for something to show up at the house while I'm in Florida. Um, last year is when my Mac Pro, my current editing and gaming computer showed up. Um, the year before that is when I got this iPhone and my uh, TV in here, my flat screen right here. Um, if you guys actually didn't know, um, the reason I really was all crazy about getting this TV, even though it's just a standard 1080p flat screen, it was not like, it's not, not like, you know, special or anything. Um, I used to run a CRT. Um, I never had a HDTV up until about two years ago. So, um, it was kind of crazy, but, uh, that was kind of, um, why I was like so excited to get that. I was almost more excited than I was getting this iPhone than I was, uh, getting that. Um, because it was nice just to have HD. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of that. So the carbon interior kit is on its way. Um, well, not on its way yet, but, uh, by the time you guys have seen this, it'll be on its way. Um, I believe you guys actually know you guys are not seeing this when the day it drops, uh, when it ships. Um, but it shouldn't be too much longer and it'll be on its way. Um, hopefully it gets here in time before we move. It should, but, um, that's kind of that. So, uh, hope you all are enjoying your day. Um, I'm going to go and wrap things up here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more content coming soon. Once I get back, um, since I'm filming this before the trip, um, I'm kind of working on logistics to get uh, window tint done as well as um, when the carbon dash gets shows up, we'll obviously do that as well. Um, so that'll obviously be its own video. Um, there's a specific tent I want, so that's kind of the main issue is that there's not any installers around here that have that specific tent. Um, the closest one is in um, is in a city called Marietta. It's about uh, about 30, 45 minutes from here. So um, that's probably about as close as I'll get to getting what I want installed. Um, I'd have to, you know, obviously call and see how much it would cost them to do it. But that's kind of that. So, um, but once that happens, uh, once I get back, we'll be doing that. Uh, getting the tent put done and getting... Uh, the carbon dash kit installed since that'll be here um but yeah hope you all enjoyed 
and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for almost a thousand subscribers. I'm filming this at 994, so I have no clue if by the time this video goes up, I've hit it yet. But, um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time. Have a fantastic day, everyone, and stay safe.